And then they go on to think about the weak, either identified as bad for the noble system or as good for the moral system. Okay, questions about that? Okay, so the weak here means something like the passive, the clean, the pure, the spiritual concern with another world rather than the muck and dirt of this earth. This is, Nietzsche is associating this with what we might think of as monkish virtues. Um, these are the virtues of the meek and the mild, um, concerned with self-denial. And if you speak too loudly or out of turn, well, you're doing something wrong, you're doing something evil, you should feel guilty about doing this, um, or if you indulge in too much physicality by eating too much, or enjoying or even thinking about sex too much. These are all things that have to be renounced. And so you should be thinking here of like Victorian morality, which it's not a coincidence when Nietzsche's writing here. These are associated with sort of traditional um, Victorian um, virtues. Okay, on to, um, right, sorry, so I guess I haven't said, um, and Nietzsche here is um, contrasting, therefore, good and bad associated with the uh, noble system of values with evil good associated with the moral system of values. So evil, so good can be contrasted either with bad or with evil. The noble system or on the moral system. And I've said this before, I'll say it again. And the sort of polarities of good and bad and good and evil are reversed, according to these two uh, different systems of values. Is that clear? The questions about that? Okay. So now I want to talk about. Um, this passage on, um, in section 11 on Nietzsche, <coughs> because, because Nietzsche, as you know, is a critic of the moral system. I've said many times, I will continue to say that the moral system is what gave us our depth. He thinks it is what made human beings interesting. He thinks it's what saved us, the moral system of values. But now he feels that it's, among other things, in danger of collapsing into nihilism. So, so the moral system of values is very dangerous for us now. Uh, and Nietzsche describes himself as an immoralist, as opposed to that system of value. And here we have a contrast between the moral system of valuing, which he's describing, and the noble system of values, which he's also describing. And it would be the most natural thing in the world for you to think that he's just opposed to the moral system and in favor of the noble system. He's more subtle than this, however. Um, and although he for sure does think that there are elements of the noble system of values that uh, he's advocating, he's not at all blind to its problems too. And I already pointed to one source of problems for the noble system of values, namely its indifference to the weak, its distortion of what ordinary people are like. It's just uncaring so it's liable to mistake the reality of ordinary life for most people. Um, and here, um, 
Nietzsche has a really <clears throat> um, pretty powerful criticism of the noble system of values. And it's really easy to miss. Um, when I point to this passage, very often people just don't believe that he's actually critical of the noble system of values. And the first time that I read this passage, um, I didn't quite get that he was talking about the noble system of values either. But he clearly is. Um, he's talking about this, he's talking about what happens when the noble system of values is sort of unleashed on people who are not as strong people who are outside the community, who, are not, who it doesn't take to be good. And here's what he says about it. He says, when this happens, sorry, so this is on page 22, this is on line 13 or so, 12 or 13. He says, they, that is the, the noble classes, those who are good according to their noble system evaluation. He says, they're not much better than uncaged beasts of prey toward the outside world, where that which is foreign, the foreign world, begins. There, they enjoy freedom from all social constraint. In the wilderness, they recover, sorry, this is the error that noble values are liable to make. So in the outside world, beyond their own, so to speak. They enjoy freedom from all social constraint. In the wilderness, they recover the losses incurred through the tension that comes from a long enclosure and fencing in within the peace of the community. So within their own community, they're self-restrained and disciplined, but now outside against others, they let loose. And look at what he says about this. He says, they step back into the innocence of the beast of prey conscience as jubilant monsters who perhaps walk away from a hideous succession of murder, arson, rape, torture with such high spirits and equanimity that it seems as if they've only played a student prank, convinced that for years to come the poets will again have something to sing and to praise. So, um, Nietzsche is very harsh here. Um, they are <coughs> monsters, they are monsters. What they do is hideous. They don't even recognize that what they've done is murder, arson, rape, or torture. It's just a game to them. They don't recognize what it is that they've done. Um, so this is the error that noble moralities are liable to. They're liable to these horrible misdeeds in good conscience, without even recognizing what it is that they've done. Um, so although Nietzsche is very harsh uh, in his attacks on slave morality, he thinks that because the slave system of values, the moral system of values, is based on resentment, it's not going to be able to produce, it's not going to be able to inspire us to produce anything of value. But he has no illusions about the noble system of values either. Um, that they are liable to horrible abuses horrible, destructive abuses without even recognizing what they're doing. Notice that from this, sorry, so that was the passage I was just quoting, not much better than uncaged beasts of prey uh, who walk away from a hideous succession as if it was nothing. Um, notice also that um, that they don't behave like that within their community. So this is what 
chaos they unleash on outsiders. But notice that the implication is within their own um, communities, they have a code of discipline that applies um, among their own, that applies when they are dealing with each other. Um, so there's, you might say, you don't want to say morality, of course, but you want to say that there are mores. There are um, customs of self-control and loyalty, maybe, um, pride that leads people to be able to discipline themselves amongst themselves, but then all bets are off for outsiders. Um, and so Nietzsche is pointing out that um, although this energy and aggression is repressed <coughs> within the community, um, it has a kind of hidden core, he says, that erupts from time to time against others. Um, <coughs> okay, well, so given that, um, most people think that um, the meaning and purpose of culture was to tame those aggressive instincts, to domesticate people. And Nietzsche thinks that that, in fact, was necessary. Um, he thinks, even if it's not the only thing that's valuable, disciplining our aggressive instincts is something that is important. And for that purpose, resentment was a useful tool. Um, Nietzsche thinks it certainly did produce progress. Um, it was necessary to tame our instincts, to make us have psychological depth, um, so that we're no longer jubilant monsters simply acting out, thinking that we've only done stupid things. Um, the point is that this aggression and energy and spirit has to be directed toward from each a valuable and creative act, uh, actions that we can be honest about, unlike the noble, um, and uh, allowed to give rise to creative acts, um, not simply denied or repressed. So this is, in fact, what morality has done positive. Uh, and that is that it's taken uh, our aggression and redirected them. Um, yeah, so I don't want to hide anything from you. It's re this is jumping ahead. It's redirected it against ourselves. So it's turned inward our uh, aggressive power to disciplining ourselves. And that's what they said. Um, OK, so um, on Friday, we will, um, I think, come close to finishing the first essay.